Hey guys, Monica Taylor here. Um, I have so many of you ask me, you know, how I prep my foods for the week, what I do to really get prepared um, and keep our family on track. So I thought I'd come to you today and just kind of show you what my typical Sunday looks like. Um, you've seen me before and I've talked about my, you know, three part prep process for the week. I do my meal planning typically Thursdays or Fridays. I do my grocery shopping either Saturday, sometimes Sunday morning, and then I do my prep for the week on Sunday. What I do is I do everything possible I can today to make our lives during the week a little bit easier. So I prep lunches, I prep snacks, I do anything for dinner that I can um, to get ready. And so as you see, I've kind of got an array of things out here to get me really started for my Sunday meal prep um, for the week. So, you know, let me just go ahead and kind of explain what, what I've got going on here. So the first thing that I've got is I've got my Fix 8 cookbook um, and then I've got my meal plan um, for the week. I've also got some containers. I've got, for those of you doing the 21 day fix, um, Target has this really, really awesome thing where they have colored sandwich bags. And so it goes in line with your uh, containers. You've got a red bag, you've got a green bag, you've got a yellow bag, and then you also have a blue bag. And so the only bag that you don't have that you really need is a purple bag. So what I do is I just use um, the normal clear ones for the purple container. So when I do my meal planning, I get everything ready. So I hard boiled some eggs to make things easier because I use them as a snack. My husband used them, uses them on his salad. Um, I prepped chicken uh, and I'll give you my um, homemade marinade recipe that I use for my chicken. We do typically, I'll do that on Sundays. I happen to have a little bit left over um, from you know when we had dinner this week, so I'll use that first. But I will be prepping some more chicken tonight as well for the rest of the week. I've got my fruit um, right here and just a mix of vegetables and things that I need. So the first thing that I do is I prep my husband's lunches. He is typically very routine, so he makes it really easy, and he takes salad every day for lunch. One day a week, his company caters in food, so he only needs four salads. So I've got two started right now, but typically I'll make four. So for his salads, is I start off with um, a base of lettuce. And I'll use a great um, spring leaf mix that has spring leaf lettuce, spinach, arugula, just the really great rich green vegetables. You wanna kinda of stay away from iceberg lettuce because it has no nutritional value. So I'll start with that. If you're using your 21 day fix containers, I don't typically measure out my lettuce because honestly, if there's any container that you're gonna go over in that's gonna be okay, it's gonna be your veggies. You can't ever have too much veggies. Um, so I'll start with that. Then I'll add just kind of a little bit of everything because he's really great, he loves lots of vegetables. So I'll typically do a green container, about half a green container um, of shredded carrots for his salads. I'll do um, you know, a couple of grape uh, tomatoes on each of them. Typically his salads will end up being about two and a half greens. Then I add um, one egg, which if you're doing your 21 day fix, that's considered a half of a red because one red is two eggs. So I'll do one egg per salad. Uh, he also loves the baby bell peppers. So just a couple bell peppers for each. And then I'll do a red container full of our pre-made grilled chicken. Now what I do is I grill and marinate the chicken on Saturdays um, and then that way I have it ready to go for Sunday. So I'll do about a red container um, on his salad. And I typically do about half of a red container so that he ends up with one red container for that meal. So there's a little bit of that. So his are done. So I'll do two more and that really completes his lunches for the week. Okay, so then I start with, well, what do I need, you know, being at home? For me, I like to prep my snacks, my fruit, anything that I'm gonna need if we've got a kid activity and I just need to grab something and go. So one of my favorite snacks is, I have a really, really bad sweet tooth. So what I do is I take grapes and I actually freeze them so that they're frozen. Um, it really kind of hits the spot with that, you know, you're wanting something sweet. You know, if I were back in the old days, I may want to grab some chocolate or something, but this is kind of like a really sweet, crunchy snack. 
So I'll take my purple container and I will measure out some frozen grapes and then I will bag them in my clear container, since, I mean clear baggie since we don't have any purple. Um, and then I will make up, you know, several of these for the week so that I can just throw them in the freezer and grab them when I need to go. The next thing that I do is I measure out, uh, I don't really do um, dressings for my salad, I'll just use a little bit of um, olive oil and balsamic vinegar. So for my orange container, I use sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. So I'll go ahead and scoop out, um, you know, just I've got little snack bags where I can scoop out, you know, a container of sunflower seeds. And then another snack that I like to do is almonds. They're really great for you. Um, they've got a, a lot of great nutritional benefits. And so I will use my blue container to scoop out about 12 is your average blue container size. Um, and go ahead and bag those in my blue baggie. A lot of times I will combine my blue and orange snacks into one blue bag um, just because I like to combine them together and they go together. Um, one of the other things that I do is, for me, I use bananas um, in my Shakeology every morning. And so I don't ever let a banana go to waste. At the end of the week, I typically have a couple bananas that are starting to go brown and most people would probably typically throw them away. I don't. I use bananas for everything. So what I do is I take those bananas that are turning brown and about to go bad. I cut them in half. I throw them into a freezer bag. And then I throw them into the freezer. And then I have bananas already ready to go for my smoothies for the week. And so it's really great because I'll buy a fresh new set on, sa on Saturdays when I go do my meal prepping. Whatever doesn't get ate throughout the week, then I'll use at the end of the week for my, my Shakeology the next week. So there you have it. That's a little bit how I do my prep for the week. Oh, one last thing that's my favorite part is my homemade marinade. So for dinners, I do everything that I can right now to get them ready. So if I have anything that needs to be marinated, I'll go ahead and put it in now. And typically, my dinners on Saturday and Monday are grilled foods. And so I will throw, for instance, tonight we're having grilled chicken, sweet potatoes, and asparagus. And so what I do is I make my own marinade so that I know exactly what goes into it. I use a um, 21 day fix um, homemade spice recipe. I mix in a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of water, and a little bit of vinegar to make a little bit of a smoky mesquite marinade. Then I throw my chicken in there and I'll throw it into the refrigerator for the day so it's ready to go for tonight. So when I cook the chicken, I'll have, I typically cook about eight pieces. That way we have enough for dinner and then I have enough for lunches throughout the week. My lunches typically come from leftovers. So for instance, tonight we're having grilled chicken and asparagus and sweet potatoes. That means my lunch tomorrow will be exactly that. Tomorrow we're having crock pot pork chops, um, green beans and veggies, and red potatoes. So my lunch for Tuesday will be whatever we have tomorrow. It makes my life a little bit easier because I'll just make up a small Tupperware container uh, that night with you know my 21 day fix portions and that gets me ready for the next day. So I'll marinate anything that I need for dinner. If there's something that I'm making, um, for instance, if I were making spaghetti this week, I would typically brown my turkey meat and go ahead and you know make my um, homemade grandmother's spaghetti sauce from the Fix 8 cookbook, and then I would freeze it. And so then when it comes time for you know dinner on Thursdays, I've already got it ready. I just have to pull it out of the freezer, throw it onto the stove, let it simmer until it's warm, and for me, I'll do the spaghetti squash and the boys will do a whole wheat pasta. And so anything that I can do today, including prepping any sort of protein like eggs, hard boiled eggs, chicken, ground turkey meat, I'll get done today. Um, if I needed to chop up some veggies, you know, like carrots and celery and that kind of thing, I would do it today and I would go ahead and measure out, say, my um, hummus amount using my blue container so that it's already done and ready to go. Does it take a little bit of time in the beginning? Absolutely, but I'm telling you now, this makes your life a hundred times easier. I've got it down to where I can get my prep in in about an hour and be completely finished for the week. 
Because we're so busy and we typically have an event every single night, this makes things so much easier and a lot less likely for us to go and grab pizza or fast food or something on the way. So here you have it. Here's how I do my meal prep for the week. If you have any questions about um, anything else that I do, one last tip that I will say is uh, for my husband's dressing, I do a little bit of my own dressing so that I know what's going into it. I'll do one part um, olive oil to half a part balsamic vinegar and then I'll do a little bit of seasonings like garlic seasoning, onion seasoning and I'll just kind of whisk it together and that satisfies him for a dressing. That way I'm not getting the processed dressing from the store that has a whole bunch of preservatives and things added to it. So if you have any questions let me know. I'll be happy to answer them underneath.